Guys, what's going on? It's Fuzzy here from P4C. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while, but we do have an exciting video for you guys. Yet, at the same time, might be a little bit controversial. With the 25th anniversary set celebrations upon us, we finally uh, have some products. Uh, these are from the mini tins as well as these uh, Ch Lance Charizard and Dark Sylveon V tins uh, right in front of us. When I say controversial, of course, we are going to weight these uh, celebration packs to see whether or not the weight will have any sort of determination when it comes to getting the good pulls. Now, just as a disclaimer, this video is uh, for educational purpose, yet uh, I know it will or it might be controversial and you might stir a lot of comments uh, below, uh, but do let us know. But the reason why I'm doing this is because uh, uh, I'm not sure how uh, allocated uh, these particular products are so some people might not get them uh, and certainly there will be people going to be selling loose packs online and uh, throughout this video if the weight uh, does play a major factor uh, when it comes to um, yeah, the heavier the packs and you might get uh, the chase cut hopefully uh, this particular video will be educational enough for you to you to decide whether or not you want to buy loose packs online. All right, before we weigh them and open them, uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you haven't already done so, you will be much appreciated. Uh, at the same time as well, ring that bell for the latest videos and updates. All right, without further ado, let's go straight into weighing them and open them to see if the weight matters or not. All right, we are opening up the packs from the mini tin first. Now, I believe there are eight tins, and each tins had two packs. Uh, eight twos are 16, so we have in front of us 16 packs uh, right here on screen. Now, uh, the biggest variance actually came from the mini tins because we have packs that we would consider relatively light or very light. As you can see, uh, they were below point. Uh, Four grams, and then we have packs with a couple of packs that were really heavy, uh, 9.70 uh, and above. So majority of them fall in between the 9.6 to 9.5, and then obviously uh, right here as well. So what we are going to do, we are going to open the very light pack first and work our ways up to the heaviest. Uh, at the same time, we are going to see how good are these pull rates uh, from the mini tins as well. So let's get straight into it. Alright, here we go. These two packs uh, cons uh, were considerably light. Uh, so 9.4 uh, and below. So 9.4 and below. Now, my understanding is that all cards are hollow graphics and there is a uh, and there is a code card in there so uh, and obviously the code card will show you guys the code card here so there you go now I don't know what the card trick is so I'm just gonna I'm actually just gonna go straight into it I'm gonna go straight into it so this is uh, the lightest pack I guess uh, so every card is a rare uh, very light uh, so we've got a Lugia uh, hollow there and then we've got a Palkia, and then a Mew. So, uh, I guess no 
major hit you would say uh, from the lightest pack but these cards look absolutely gorgeous the Lugia and the Mew uh, the artwork looks really great I just can't wait until the Japanese one comes out because uh, as we all know uh, I'm not being biased here but the Japanese uh, normally uh, a little bit better a little bit better all right so I don't think there is a card trick right so We've got a Reshiram here. We've got a Reshiram. Uh, so Chase Guard, I would believe, uh, would be the uh, obviously the the Kanto evolutions. Uh, and then we've got a Pikachu. So this is uh, not sure if you guys remember. This is a Pikachu full art right here uh, of the original uh, Pikachu card uh, from the base set. So we did get a full art. I guess we would call it a full art uh, from our uh, lightest, lightest pack here. So we're moving on into the next weight category, which is uh, around the 9.48. So these are packs that are around the 9.48, 9.49, and 9.5. So let's, we have four packs here. We have four packs here. So let's see uh, again uh, if the weights matters or not. All right, 9.48 here. Uh, let's see if the weights matter or not okay so probably best to open it from this side and the way they did it here the last card uh would be uh the chase card if it's really is the chase card here we've got a palkia uh we've got uh ground on now this is pretty cool this is the i think uh, with the kyoga uh is that full art, art replicator we got a he comes team rocket of course, it's a very nostalgic card here. Uh, you can see everything about this card is old school. And then we have a Professor Research. So I think this is, I don't know which, I, I don't really know how you can tell which one is rare and which one is not. But rest assured, it's going to be very quick, I think. Well, I like to say, I like to think, <laughs> uh, to collect the full set here. So, all right. Here is the code card for those playing at home. I can't actually imagine uh what people are doing with the code card uh, all right anyway uh got a lugan Groudon again uh we know what the commons are we've got a cosmog very cute with lily in the background and then we have a sarsian v here so the sarsian v again another full art card coming out from uh, a slightly, you can say a slightly lighter pack. We still have two here, so let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. So, yeah, it does look like the last card uh, is going to be uh, that special, I guess, the rare card or the chase card. We've got a Groudon, we've got a Reshiram, we've got a Kyogre, and then we've got another Pikachu. So, I was just going to say the Groudon and the uh, Kyogre looks very, very nice. And then we do have another full art Pikachu here. So last pack of the 9.48. Last pack of the 9.48. So uh, are we going to pull? Are we going to pull the special ones? The special Kanto 3 starters. Also keeping track of the pull rates here. We've got another Muse. So from the 9.48 to 9.5 weight class we did have three pulls here all right we're going into slightly heavier and i think uh, if you uh, saw the waiting process as well most of the packs is waiting about the 9.6 mark so we've got these are the from the minutes these are from the mini tins and then we still have 24 packs uh, to go as well so uh, from the uh, the dark sylveon and the charizard uh, lance charizard tin so we don't need to do the card trick let's Get it moving, Lugia, and then another Pikachu. It seems like we have uh, pulled quite a lot of Pikachu. We pulled three already, uh, just from the mini tins. Now, uh, we don't necessarily know what the pull rate are and is at this rate, but one thing, it does feel another one. We've got two, uh, two in a row. This does feel like only two packs in. It does feel like uh, these are... Uh, 9.6 ones maybe other ones where the uh the full arts are hiding maybe so can we get three in a row so one nope 
but we do have a Rockets Admin though. This Rocket Admin card looks pretty sick actually. Uh, there is texture on the card as well. I'm not sure if it show, can be shown, but there is like te texture on the card as well. So this is pretty cool. 9.61. Uh, it seems like it is giving us a uh, good pull, but the, strangely enough, this particular Rockets Admin's card uh, it says 86 out of 109. So uh, again, we don't know what that means at the moment, uh, since this is kind. Of, this is our kind of first opening. So we've got a Diago here, uh, Cosmo, Palkia, and then we've got a Galio here. So Galio also looked really good with Lily in the background as well, but a little bit off-centered. So let's get it moving. Uh, I was actually opening these really slow, and then I realised I. Uh, these are not the only packs that we've got to open. We still have, we still have uh, those 24 packs. All right. Oh, we've got a Clefing here. So maybe, maybe the, uh, if we get a full art, it'll be the last card. And maybe the special card is the third one. We've got a Flying Pikachu. So yeah, it seems like, so this is 20 out of 111. So again, giving you guys some ideas here. Uh, these are what we consider slightly heavier. Uh, and it seems like, I don't know if the texture has something to do with it, but we are pulling the texture cards uh, from here. All right, so here is the co card. All right, through four cards here. We've got the Cosmo, we've got a Xenorous. Oh, we've got a Kyoga. And then we do have another flying Pikachu. Now there's no texture on the flying Pikachu here, but two flying Pikachu, two Pikachu uh, old school art, two texture cards. So last pack of this particular weight class. Let's go into a Groudon and then we got not just a Lugia and then we've got a Professor Research. All right, we've got three packs here that are you can say particularly heavy because they weighted uh, more than any other packs uh, from the mini teen slot. So they weighted uh, at least 9.7 or 9.69 and above. So these are, I mean, you would consider these heavy. So what does heavy means? We are going to find out. So what does heavy means here? Reshiram, if it, if it is a hit, it would be the next one. We've got a birthday Pikachu promo here, all textured. And then we do have a Sashian here. So we've got a hit from uh, from the heavy pack, 9.73. Now, obviously one pack could be fluky. So let's go into our second pack here. Uh, this, obviously, someone's Pikachu card is absolutely awesome uh, because these, uh, I mean, the original one is so hard to find and so expensive. So it's really great just to see one of these. And the texture, it's texture on it as well. So, all right, we got a Zekrom here. All right, again, if it is a hit, it would be the next one. One, two. We've got another Rockets at Mean and then a Surfing Pikachu VMAX this time. So, so far, according to the weight, we're two from two. Now, these are, again, these were, I don't know how to describe, these were definitely a little bit heavier than the most of the ones that we weighed it. So, all right, this last pack here, it did weigh 9.7 uh, and above. Can we pull one of our chase card here? Uh, well, the only one that I'm really aiming for is the Umbreon. Uh, I mean, the Charizard will also be nice, so let's see if we can get that. Okay, we've got a Groudon. Uh, we've got a here comes team rocket it does have the texture and then another serving pikachu from our heavy pack all right just as a quick half time break and review uh we open uh eight twos at 16 we opened 16 packs we waited them uh the lightest pack we did manage to at least get one full art uh and then the second lightest pack we got three hit cards so these cards with the texture on it, I would consider them a chase or hit card here. And then as we went heavier, so 9.61, obviously the more cards were in that particular pile. We did manage to get two texture card and four uh, full art card there. But the most surprising, and this is not can't be a definitive answer, but the heaviest pack, the heaviest pack indeed we get 
uh, double hits uh, for the heaviest pack. Now we are going to go into uh, the uh, packs from the bigger tins, uh, the Lance Charizard and the Dark Sylveon tins, and let's see the results from those. All right, as you can see on screen right now, these are the packs from the Dark Sylveon V and the Lance Charizard B tins. And you can see the only one pack really weighs around that 9.69, 9.7 mark, which we saw earlier on. It was uh, deemed to be heavy, but most of them are hanged around that 9.65 and 9.61, with a couple of exceptions that fall uh, below 9.55 to 9.5. So let's open it and let's see how these uh, compared to the mini tins. All right, here we go. We've got the 9.5. So these are sort of 9.55 to 9.5. So nothing really below uh, the 9.5 mark. So uh, so these, uh, you know, they weren't bad in terms of the weight. So, I mean, 9.3, I'm looking at the 9.39 at the moment and we still managed to pull one. So let's see if this particular weight cards we were able to get one of uh, these texture cards. So, Zekrom and then a uh, Solgaleo. So nothing from our first pack. Uh, nothing from our first pack. Uh, I think, again, uh, this particular video, uh, I've we've done a few of these waiting uh, videos now. So these will definitely cause a bit of a controversy and a lot of people would comment. So we've got a full art professor research right here. So. From the 9.5, we did manage to pull a full art professor research. I mean, like like I said, uh, as a disclaimer from the start, these particular video are for educational purposes. Um, you know, these packs, uh, for all I know, could be very difficult for people to get a hold of. And, you know, and times like these, people, you know, we don't want people to get scammed, right? So at times like these, uh, we want to educate the community. And then we pull a Pikachu full art here. Uh, so hopefully this video would help. Uh, and uh, hopefully we don't get too much hate hate comments, uh, so to speak. All right. Going uh, to the last two packs. I mean, these... Uh, I feel like, I mean, you could consider these sort of uh, in that middle weight, right? So Zekrom and then another Pikachu. We pull a lot of these Pikachu. It seems like it's a very, very common card. Uh, and because, yeah, I think we pull like... You know, almost 10 of them now uh, just from all these opening but so far no signs of those Kanto starters uh, no sign of our chase card Umbreon as well Dialga and then a Solgaleo again all right um, majority of the tins were in this kind of zone uh, 9.6 so anywhere from 9.3 to uh, 9.1 and even uh, a little bit lower as well to uh, 9.5, 8 and 5, 9. We've got a uh, we've got a prime card here, but it was upside down. So the prime card it does have texture, and then we've got a Lunala. So we do have a texture card here. We do a Dolphin uh, prime card, awfully, awfully off centered, and uh, and show the truth. Uh, upside down as well so I'm not sure what's happened there so our first kind of major hit for this pool uh, and then no Cosmog and then Professor Research so I think with a majority of the packs that are in that this particular way where I mean we still have quite a few to go and we might be calling it a little bit too early uh, is that the uh, the uh, you it's a bit of a hit and miss a uh, bit of a hit and miss uh, ho ho here comes Team Rocket and then another flying Pikachu here. So two texture card and a VMAX uh, again. Uh, again, we open, we are opening close to um, 40 packs, right? 16, 24, 40 packs here. So far, nothing at the moment. We've got a Ho Ho and then another flying Pikachu. So we've got a flying Pikachu and a serving Pikachu now. All right, listening for these. Luckily, these are four packs only, so uh, we can go through it relatively quickly. Let us know in the comments below, though, guys. Uh, what do you think about the weight uh, of these packs? Oh, we've got a Luxray X here, another texture card, and then we've got a Lunana here. So, so far, we have pulled three texture cards. I'm getting overly excited with the Silver Border. I was thinking that maybe is the Umbreon, maybe. 
Uh, so, all right, so it's, it does feel like these tins are a little bit different. We've got Lugia and then we have Samus Santa. I don't think we pulled Samus Santa. We definitely have pulled uh, Sashian, um, but we haven't pulled Samus Santa. So, uh, yeah, it feels like the weight of these uh, does not matter. But it, for, as for the mini tins, though, yeah, it feel it did have an impact. Reshiram. We've got a Rockets Admin and then another one of these Pikachu here. So we've got four texture cards here um, at the moment. Uh, still, we pulled the Rockets a couple of times now. Uh, so hopefully it is time to get that uh, Umbreon out or any of the... Uh, Oh, Helugia, and then we've got a Surfing Pikachu. So we're definitely picking up a lot of these Pikachu now cards. I'll be very interested to see um, how the Japanese one looks like as well. Uh, Alright, we're going down to the final wire now. We are going down to the final. We've got Lugia. We get another Pikachu here, and then this one. Yo, oh, it's a Venusaur! We finally hit! Uh, we finally hit uh, one of the th top three, uh, the Charizard, Blastoid, uh, and then of course right in front of us, the Venus of Centering looks really hard to tell actually, but I don't think the Centering is that great from just from left to right. Let's have a look at the back. Uh, the back actually looks pretty good. So one uh, of our, uh, well one of the three I guess. Uh, we've got now so here we go uh celebration code there all right we've got Xenius coho we got this is this oh, let's go back to back pulls here oh my goodness let's go we pulled the charles i uh, to tell the truth i have no idea what the pull rates are but so for all i know uh, these could be very, very common, but we have pulled the Charizard and the Venusaur back to back. I actually need to sleeve these two cards up. All right, uh, from this particular weight class, and I don't feel the weight is having such a major impact at the moment because we have pulled now the Charizard and the Venusaur. So what's missing? The Blastoid. And you know, I'm just lo looking at this Charizard card here. It's obviously so nostalgic to so many of us who grew up with the game. Uh, whenever you start your journey, this card it's just the holy grail right but i can't imagine how many people are going to be sending this card into psa or for any types of grading and how how big the pop is this card is going to be this is going to be crazy guys this just going to be crazy but we pulled it i'm very happy we've got one down let's see if we can get the umbreon here uh i would love to know the pull rates uh we've got a mew and then we've got a ho ho so Nothing there, so down to the last two pack uh, of this particular uh, weight class. I think, uh, you know, from early analysis, uh, I would say it's blue or it's a Palkia. I thought it's blue, might be the blast. All right, last pack from this particular weight class. Uh, it seemed to have a lot of success, to be honest. Uh, Pulling single hits uh, for this particular weight class, of course, we pull you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, six texture card. I don't know how many uh, packs that we're actually in this particular, so my mistake there. All right, nothing on the back, and then an Icon Cosmog as well. So that's it for the 9.61 class. All right, we've got a few packs uh, for the 9.65 or around there. Uh, we've got exactly five packs so they're supposed to be a little bit heavier so does that mean uh, our chase cut would be in here so let's find out Whew. oops uh, all right Reshiram Palkia let's see this bottom cut we do get a surfing Pikachu here we're missing a Blastoise we're missing an Umbreon Oh, nothing there. So, all right, we've got a serving Pikachu. So we did get a hit here. Uh, 
second pack from the five packs that we have. And of course, we have one more pack, uh, which is the heavy pack. All right. Third card is the... Now, I've done the card trick, so the last card here should be the rare. And we've got a Team Magma Groudon here with the texture, I believe so. Yes, very nice. So we've got a Team Magma Groudon. All right. Uh, it, you, I'll let you guys be the judge. I don't want to comment. I'll let you guys be the judge. So here's the code card. Uh, this card here is going to be the chase card there. If it's not a V, we've got a yellow and we've got a Zekrom here. All right, two more packs for this particular weight class. Let's see. Let's see if we can complete. We can reunite Blastoy uh, with Charizard and Venusaur. We've got a Zamazenta V here. Very nice. Palkia. All right, let's see. Oh, what is this? One, two. Oh, Xenia EX. So we do have a EX card here. Wow, very nice, very nice. I, oh, for a moment, I really thought that was the Umbreon. I, I think the Umbreon have silver, silver border, silver border. Uh, I don't know, but just from the five packs we open. Well, sorry. From, yeah, we have five packs. This is our last pack here. And we've, so far, we have at least one hit, right? From these packs. So, let's see how it's going to go down in the last one here. Nope, it's only there. So, from the five packs, we got at least one for uh, for everything. All right, last but not least, we do have a, uh, well, what we consider a heavy pack. So, let's do this. Uh, we are... Hoping that we will have the Blastoise, the Umbreon. Uh, I feel like the more we say it, the more they eventually will come out, right? Is that is that how it works? All right. I'm going to move this up the front. Give it a little bit of tap for good luck. And we indeed have a flying Pikachu. So, all right. We've got a Ho-Ho. So, is this going to be a double hit? Now, the three packs that we have from the Mini Tins that were open 9.7 or around that weight, had a double hit. So, is this going to be a double hit? It's not, it's not, it's not. So, we do only have a normal Zekrom there, but we did get a flying Pikachu as the in the last weight class. All right, here we go. Here is the result from the Dark Sylveon tin, uh, Lance Charizard tin. We did manage to pull the Charizard and the Venusaur. Fortunately, uh, no Blasto or Umbreons, but we will still be on a chase. But these cards look very, very lovely with the texture uh, on it. Uh, surprisingly, this particular weight cast, we did get the most hits. Uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe is it because the most packs were in this particular cast. But uh, we've got, uh, you know, uh, three, six, six texture cards, and then we've got a further full art cards as well. And surprisingly, the heaviest. Yes, we did get a V, but it, we didn't get double hits on those. And then for the 6.5 as well. So is it a stream to say for 6.5, anything that's 9.65 and above, you would get something. So I'll let you guys be the judge uh, and put it in the comment below. All right, this is obviously going to be a longer video. So thank you very much for you guys for sticking around. Make sure you drop us a like. Uh, if you enjoyed this particular video and found this particular video helpful uh, when it comes to buying loose packs, especially these ones from Celebration. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. We still have a lot of Celebration stuff coming through uh, in search of the Blastoise and obviously the Umbreon as well. As you guys know, Umbreon is my favorite Pokemon. Make sure you ring the bell uh, so you know uh, the latest uh, videos uh, and updates. All right, if you are opening up uh, celebration packs anywhere in the world, may the God of Wolves be with you always.